Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a spring, hub, and whole shock assembly from the 1967 Ford Galaxy. I've already been on this side, so now I'm feeling pretty confident enough I can show you guys. Okay, so basically what we have here is the spindle. Obviously it's like a lot of other cars, it has m multiple spots where it connects, making it uh, able to do what it's supposed to do. So we have a connection here at the tie rod. We have a connection here at the uh, upper ball joint for the control arm, and also at the lower ball joint for the lower control arm. Also, you can see the spring and the shock. So this is actually a long process. Um, for me, earlier it took about an hour and a half, so I'm gonna make it short for you guys, okay? Okay guys, so first thing first is I'm removing all the cotter pins. I just want to let you guys know that these are newer ball joints. I put these on when I first got the car, so they're not quite as stubborn. Maybe something that was a little more original might be a little more difficult to deal with. I just use pliers and wiggle it out and just pull it straight out. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen all the, the nuts. Just loosen them. I'm going to separate the tie rod first, and I'm using these two. Go ahead and separate this tie rod, separate your brake line, and you'll, um, you'll loosen the bottom one all the way first, and we'll knock it loose off of its mount or its ball joint. So that way when we get this one all the way off, we'll be able to pull that one off the bottom easily without having to struggle. So there we go. Okay guys, so I don't have a 15, 16 wrench, so I had to use Okay, so for this bottom one I had to make a funky adapter style so with my uh, 3 8 style um, swivel head and a half inch adapter to 3 8 to an impact um, 3 8 to half inch adapter for this 15 16 um, I had to pretty much put it together out of all my tools combined and actually shout out to my dad because I just got these tools from Northern from a $300 gift card he gave me for Christmas. So shout out to you dad if you're watching. But that's how I got this bottom one loose. This tie rod bolt is a three quarters. So let's see. I'm going to break it right there. It's not too bad. So you'll be using a pickle fork. I have two different sizes the other one right there. So while I was banging this, this tie rod obviously came loose and it fell down. But at the same time, the top fell down, which is good, but that's why it's important to keep the bolts on. You don't want it to fall and spring down and just be really surprising. Um, there's the clip will come off. So I'm right here. Clip will come off. There's also a clip right there that'll come off. So I'm gonna use my flathead and a hammer to push that clip off. Yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to want to do. And uh, it's going to destroy the ball joints. So I'm replacing those anyways. Um, another way to do this would be hit, hit right where the uh, knuckle meets up with the ball joint to free it from if it's seized or anything. But this is going to work fine for me. So I'm going to keep doing this. And then there she is. She popped loose after a few heavy hits from a hammer. Top bolt off. Jack underneath the hub. Bottom bolt still on. Um, try to see if I can do this on camera. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna hold on to the hub while I lower down the. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, slid right off. I hold on to the hub. It's probably not gonna fall with the jack underneath it. See right there. But I held on just so it wouldn't fall forward because it's fucking heavy. So pretty much what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna lower it all the way down. Now it's tilted forward. Um, 
ready to remove that nut. So I'll do that right now. It should be finger tight. Or loose. Let me get this off. There we go. I wish I could set the camera down, so I'm just going to pick up on this and pull it straight off the ball joint. So I'll be holding here, and my other hand will be on the other wrench. So I got the last bolt coming out. There it is. Stock assembly just removes right out the middle. The spring compressor tool. So it consists of this bottom fork with ridges for different size springs. And you pretty much have a really heavy duty piece of all thread with this cool um, block with hooks on it. So you're just gonna grab on to your spring. You're gonna put it in through the bottom. And these hooks are going to go up to the top part of the spring. In the directions it states, maybe put your uh, your fork and your hooks closer, maybe toward middle spring, so maybe towards like this spring right here, and then maybe this second spring from the bottom, um, or coil from the bottom. So I'll put it on, and uh, I'll show you guys how I'm going to crank it, tighten it up, and. Uh, Hey guys, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos of Galaxy or the uh, the P36. Um, so appreciate you watching. Shouts out to all my friends, um, my girlfriend for not caring when I work on my car, what's up, whatever I do. So see you next time. Look forward to more videos. Next video will be more front suspension on this thing. So take it easy. See you next time.